honestly, when you fight, it's so difficult. Like you're in doing what you're doing and then the kids are running around me and I'm just there praying for you to just be okay. Training is always harder when you don't have a fight date set. So I've come back to my gym for some circuit training. I roped in Azza to give me a push. Time. Oh. 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 I can't really get the rhythm. Everything's feeling a bit of a struggle. Hey. Hey. Ah. That's explosive. Ah. Speed it up. Ah. Eight, seven, ah. six. Power punches, upper cuts, and hooks. I'll do. I'm done. <laughs> that was a really tough session, but there's a lot of work I still need to do to get back in shape. So my first world title was this one, the WBA, and this was against Kotelnik. Make sure don't drop it. It's really heavy. So you have to carry this when you win. Yeah, you know when you wow. win, you have to put it around. Oh. <laughs> I think you should walk around like that boat in. Hide my belly now. <laughs> yeah. Before I used to have all my trophies and belts underneath the bed. I didn't know where to put them. I used to put them in suitcases. I used to just leave them on the side in my bedroom. And then you never appreciate it till Pharrell made me that frame. And you, when you see the belts there, you think, wow, this is what I've achieved. Let me show you the Olympic medal. It's quite heavy, isn't it? It's heavy. Let's see. That was nice. Your whole family was there cheering you on. Your mom seemed really proud. Yeah, man. I mean, look, son, think about it. I was a 17 year old. Good memories, this. It's been tough, like the blood, sweat, and tears to achieve that, but it's well worth it. Remember when Muhammad Ali ran with the torch? Muhammad Ali ran with the torch. Ran with the torch. The Bolton one. Not Bolton. I ran, in, <laughs> I ran through Bolton with the torch. I ran through the Bolton town mm -hmm. with this one and I lit it. So how did it feel running through like Bolton with the torch and all your fans like cheering you on? It was, it was the best feeling ever, but at the same time I was getting a little bit tired because holding that torch for about half an hour running for ages, my imagine. arms were like getting knackered. It would be nice to be back in the ring again. It's been a long time. And the kids are growing up now as well, so they'll be interested in watching the fights as I well. I would never let the kids watch. I'm not too happy that Amir wants another fight, but I need to think of what he needs and what he wants. And I need to tell him how I feel, but at the same time, I don't want to feel selfish. I think I always wanted you to retire, but at the same time, we have to support you in whatever you do, and you know, we have to motivate you. So even though it's something we don't want you doing, it's something you want to do. Boxing is what keeps me busy and keeps me occupied, and, but when that stops, then I'll be lost myself as well. Mm. This is why I don't want to stop yet. You know what I mean, mm -hmm. I still got, I've got the energy to have one or two more fights. What's yeah. the point of stopping now? It's not the money I'm chasing because God's been kind and I'm, 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 I'm okay. I don't have to ever work again. But it's just that what I, I want to leave the sport knowing that I've left it at the right time. So it's about now being smart and picking the right fights. And then once you hang your gloves up, which that's will be it. in a couple of years time, then I can back. say, that's it. I'll never look back. It's crazy because your emotions change. I think when you first started fighting, it was just um, worried about myself. Yeah. But now it's like we have three kids. Yeah, and you're worried about the family. It's not about winning and losing. It's about coming home to us safely and that he's okay. Because one punch can change your life. And the day, look, I always come at the ring in one piece and I'm gonna keep on doing that. So you have to stay yeah. strong. Like I said, don't worry about anything and... I think when I think about the kids, it's like, it makes me even... Before it was like just worrying about myself, but now it's like I have three kids to worry about. It'll be fine, look, these are, this is what, this is what's made us and... We thank yeah. boxing, but I know it takes yeah. a lot of it does. pain, but it is one of them things. Freaking hell, I don't want to mess up my makeup. Oh, too long to oh, do. Yeah, okay. Boxing defines me. That's all I know. It's something I'll be doing all my life. I'll, I'll probably uh, still have my foot in the door um, doing other things in boxing, but to leave the sport, I could never do that. I've seen other fighters in the past who have left the sport and never looked back. I will never be one of them because I know how much it's helped me. It's made me the person I am. 
it'll be very mm. emotional. But look at that, those achievements, I mean, that's everything that we've worked hard for. So can't just let go of the sport like that, man. Maybe get another couple of belts up there. Mm. Looks a bit empty up there, so I might have to get a few more. I'll call it a day after that. It's okay, I'll always support you in whatever you do. I know that.